Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce the accusative case. German has four cases, nominative, accusative, dative, and genitive. The nominative case is used to mark the subject of the sentence, which is the person or thing performing the main action in the sentence. It is also used to mark the predicate adjective or predicate noun in a sentence. You may want to review the presentation on the nominative case before learning about the accusative case. The accusative case, among other things, is used in German to mark the direct object of a sentence. The direct object receives the action performed by the subject of the sentence, which is marked by the nominative case. Both the nominative and accusative cases are used in the sentence you see on the screen. Der Mann hat den Kuchen. The man has the cake. As you continue your study of German, you will learn that cases can be reflected by the form of the definite article. Here, der indicates that a nominative masculine noun follows, and den indicates an accusative masculine noun follows. We will examine definite articles in a later presentation. For the time being, however, I want to step you through the reasoning behind why they are nominative and accusative. You'll remember that the subject of a sentence, which is always in the nominative case, is like the main actor on a stage, the person or thing performing an action. Here the main actor is der Mann, the man. And the action that the man is performing is the act of having or possessing something. This, however, raises a question. Well, what does he have? What person or thing receives the action of being possessed? And that is what the accusative case tells us here. The direct object expressed by the accusative case shows us who the recipient of the action is. Here the recipient is den Kuchen, the cake. It is easy to see how the nominative and accusative cases work together when the verb expresses a very physical action. Here we can perhaps visualize the man carrying or holding the cake. But the same relationship between nominative and accusative exists when the verb expresses no physical contact between the subject and its direct object. Here the man sees, sieht, the cake. In other words, the cake receives the action of being seen by the man. Or perhaps the man can even smell, riecht, the cake. The cake still receives an action, this time that of being smelled by the man. Even verbs expressing abstract concepts can use the accusative case. Here the man loves, liebt, the cake. The cake receives the action of being deeply appreciated by the man. Therefore, it must be in the accusative case. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.